Hello Internet, I'm Mr. Bum. And I'm Kimothy, and we're here for another collections video. This time we're going to be doing the Jungle and Fossil Pokemon sets. We're combining both of Jungle and Fossil this time because they... They're smaller than what the base set yeah, was. Yeah, they were a lot smaller than base, though they're still both complete, yes, right? Yes, they are both, both of them are still complete, so we're going to see every card in there. Um, but other than that, like I said, uh, probably in the last video, there's other one, other variations of things that I forgot in other binder of that we're going to see later but for now um let's take a look at the complete jungle and fossil all right guys let's take a look at jungle and fossil last time it took us uh, like 30 minutes I'm to get we're through gonna go base. A little quicker because we explained the rarities last time yeah we, we explained, explained all that things. stuff now we just got to show it's you the pokemon much the same throughout it's the same shebang jo right. jungle and fossil but this time same. we got a bunch of new pokemon appearing for the first time except electrode that's a joke that's just a different one who was cooler as i said hey look got Pidgeot. We Pidgeot's can evolve, guys. Here. We can evolve. You can finally evolve to make a Pidgeot. <laughs> I uh, don't know how far apart these were month-wise from each other. I don't know that. Uh, release dates? I don't yeah, have that information at hand, but either sure. way. Um, so, uh, Clefurble's up there. Clefurble. Uh, I, I mispronounced it between episodes and Kim it, it just I won't... can't let it go. Yeah, Clefurble. so that Pokemon shall now be known as Clefurble. <laughs> Um, I really love these EV evolution cards. Yes, they're, like, they're really cool. Like, they're some of my favorites. That Flareon, actually, if you want to pull that up, that was my favorite card when I was younger. And Flareon, there's a way rarer one out there. What do you mean? Of this card. How? Remember, it has messed up text on it or something like that? Uh, what's the misprint? I don't remember. There's a misprint one of the Flareon, though. That really? Makes it, like, super rare. Well, and, I really like, liked it. Over $100. Uh, really? I just liked its uh, crazy pose and the rainbow foil it's background. Rainbow. Just a really exciting looking card, even though Flareon in the game is, at that point, easily the suckiest choice. Like, what were <laughs> right. you, ch what were you thinking? Like, all of its, um, all of its stats went into its attack, and it can't use. This card is just so beautiful. I love its foil so much. Like, this is one I still put up everywhere. I was even talking everywhere. earlier. Like, if I, I put it up yeah. on like the our. Um, displays yeah it's probably my favorite jungle card and i really like jungle too so that's right. that should be saying jungle's a lot pretty, I really jungle's like really fossil. cool fossil fossil might be really my favorite cool. of the three too i'm not sure um jolteon i thought this was a really cool card then alex pointed out that yes, it's an extreme I said, yeah, press the button card I, I said uh this image of jolteon what this is is if there was a red button that said do not press in big letters this would be jolteon's reaction of like don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that Kangaskhan gonna... was pretty common, I remember. Didn't that come in a deck or something? I, I think so, yeah. Mr. Mime was Mr. Wasn't. Mime was kind of I'm going to hold him up a little bit. He's uh, kind of glaring a bit. We're sorry if we have some, you know, issues with the folk. Oh, not the focus. I wasn't expecting you to hold it there. Ooh. Just trying to uh, show it a little Ooh. bit better. Here we go. Just so we can see these guys. These all have the same kind of I foil like style as the, the last foil ones. Because the foil ones are cool. We finally get to see the Nidoran Nidoqueen female. The female lines showed up. Shows up this time. The males were all uh, in Pinsu base. Pinsu was relatively lane. common as well because I believe he was also in a deck. R really? Yes. I didn't know that. I believe so. Pidgeot for sure wasn't there because were um, like Pidgeot was a stupid rare one. Six or seven decks that came out with these. So. Huh. I bet the people who were like, I want to play a Dragonite deck were all pissed off when Jungle came out. And they were like, where is Dragonite? Right, yeah, Dragonite's still not here, guys. Right. It's still not here in Fossil. So, um, did you have any uh, first editions on that last page? Because Scyther up there is. I don't is. believe so. I don't believe so. Uh, nope, nope. But that first one we're going to see here is uh, Scyther. Um, and then it's the... also foil. We kind of, here, can we get a little closer? This is a really cool page. Oh, well. Sort of. Um, so yeah, you can see that's first edition Scyther. Um, your foil Snorlax. I remember you had a... I don't a... even want to talk about this Snorlax. <laughs> uh, let's just say Kim went through some ordeals to really finally get a foil Snorlax. That was even remote quality. Like... <laughs> yeah, that's also a foil Venomoth, Rare, and Victory Bell, which like you would think are... And Wigglytuff, too. I would say are pretty common Pokemon. It's kind of weird that, you know, they got they the foil rares. They haven't shown up yet, yeah, no. Um, yeah, can you see the next two over there? It's unfortunate Vaporeon kind of got so cut off. Do you want to show Vaporeon. that one? I really like that art. I love this art because it actually... It's actually Arita, isn't it? Who is that? This is, uh... This That's is... not Ken Sugimori. Oh, what's that name? Himino? Kagemaru Himino? 
You anyway. can get closer, you know. I mean, I'm doing my best to follow you. You're okay. Okay. I really like this art because it shows it more of, like, a loose feathery fin on you, it. Yeah, it looks and very aquatic, and you never see it looking like this anymore. Now it's got that... It's got a very, sh like... Stylized look, like Pikachu changed too much over time, and I think it was kind of for the worse. Right. I mean, it's not... I don't have a problem with the new Pikachu design. Like, I don't have a problem with new Vaporeon, but I like that more. Oh, I love this so much more. That looks... So much more. That looks like it... An uh, actual fish. Yeah, that actually looks realistic, like a an aquatic fox fish. Right. That actually. Whereas I don't know. now it's so structured, and its tail's not nearly as long as that. Oh, you know, I think I remember him and I doing art in the last one. I'm not sure in base. That maybe that's the other name I wasn't thinking of, but um, either way, yeah. There's Vaporeon. Just kind of wanted to pull a couple of those up, really get some close ups. Vile Plume down there is another really nice cool one. Nice 3D one. In a three stage too. I remember um, that was a that was one that I was trying to get my and hands on for a while. And this is where we start going into the set where they're reprinting the same uh, the same foil cards, but foil. you have another a better chance at getting them. So we like. started with Clefable. Um, your regular rares now can be non foil versions. So I thought that was a cool idea. I remember my neighbors all really wanted my foil electrode because they were. They were lame. Oh, so that's why you think it's cooler. Yeah, that's why it's cool. <laughs> it's, po Pokemon cards are cooler and by, like, inversely how much everyone else wants them. I mean, sure, the shiny, the foil Flareon's, like, way cooler, but, it's like, absolute I... absolute correlation. Oh, the foil. No, the I foil's like imperative. I like seeing the color in this one. <laughs> it's imperative. The foil is imperative. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest art, Like, though. Jolteon. Jolteon's push the do not press button is so much more powerful <laughs> it's so much more defiant you know, we didn't even talk about the pidgeot art that is the coolest drawing of a pidgeot you are going to ever yeah, see that is some really nice art i mean you can just at least fold the page over if because right. he's on the edge there and we can we, get a we good... didn't really get to take a moment to appreciate his art with yeah it's a really one. it's a really nice drawing i saw i you know what i like about it is how high contrast he is and nowadays he's like one solid layer of light beige right and that's just <laughs> it really is i know it's just lame no, the Scyther one in non-foil just looks really weird to me. Yeah, uh, it doesn't... Ah, uh, yeah, that foil makes them look... I mean, they make them all look so much better, but that's the thing that was the idea. Um, yeah, Kangaskhan, Mr. Mime, we already seen these guys. And, like, the Vaporeon foil, uh, non-foil, just really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's got, like, bubbles. Yellow bubbles. <laughs> I really loved this Butterfree. Um, that, yeah, that is a really nice Butterfree. Like you want to see that better? Yeah, it's on the other side. Yeah, if you it's wanna... a little difficult to... Um, but yeah, that's the start of the Uncommons, uncommons now. Yep. So um, Butterfree. from here, like this is kind of uh, getting cropped off a bit, but uh, it's actually Dodrio. a first edition Dodrio. Uh, and at this point, um, we probably should mention, for those of you um, who were curious, like we mentioned last time about Shadowless cards, even though these are very similar, these cannot be Shadowless. Um, because this was a subsequent set, and by this point, shadows were just a thing. So don't go looking for shadowless versions of any of these Pokemon. If you notice that it's jungle or fossil, eh, it's just not going to be fossil. It's just not going to have a shadowless yeah. marking on it. Yeah. Just pointing it out. I thought that was the weirdest drawing of a Fearow I've ever seen. Like, he looks weirdly fat, and he's like a ball with like a stick coming out of his no, To me, he looked exactly like his Tomy figure that I had. So I was like, <laughs> nah. The executor, though? It was awesome. There's like this little crab, if you get a close-up of it. There's, sunset there's a little, little crab painted right there. Island. He's chill. I like his head-to-body ratio. is uh, pretty good there, too. <laughs> um, this Gloom, actually, I remember the first time I ever saw this Gloom card. I was actually at one of those Pokemon tours at Tri-County Mall. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> That's where I first saw that Gloom. <laughs> I wanted to, like, hold up an Oddish over the edge of that cliff. Like, Mom, it a... It's not even a cliff. It's not even a cliff. It's a tree stump. It's, a, it's tree a tree stump. I thought it was a cliff too, because I always thought these were mountains in the back. Oh no, they're I'm... actually trees. Yeah, they're just trees. Tree never, never mind. He's just standing on a tree stump. <laughs> All right, fine. I just it just got a lot lamer than I thought it was. Yeah. Um, Lickitung's eating a bunch of bananas. That's cool. That's cool. Um, Marowak's um, just you know being. I always awesome. thought that Marowak was kind of lame though. This card, I didn't. Really, I wasn't big on it. Yeah, it's just all right. Um, fossils. I remember where I really. Yeah, liked fossils. It. Though actually, I know you love that Persian. I love this Persian. It's one of the, like, the colors. Look at the colors on this guy. Look at the colors. Think of the colors. Yeah, the grass is blue. Crazy. The trees is are he red. Is Who knows? <laughs> the sky is yellow. It's all wrong. <laughs> like, but it's so pretty. <laughs> uh, it's funny that you say that because 
it's just primary colors. And somehow... If you goop it, the primary colors... Like, if you color everything like wrong, it looks better. It's um, better. I liked that primate. Hey, we finally got this a ra Rapidash. Off. We can finally yes, evolve. You can, they were like, oops, we forgot to put Rapidash. <laughs> now, granted, though, I think Rapidash is a really good card, so it's good that you can yes, finally it play it. it is. It's um, good. so we got... Primeape and Rhydon kind of hints at who I'm we're going to get later as commons. That he is not a foil. I don't know why. I was always just... Rhydon wasn't that hard to come by in the game, though. Okay. So, I mean, well, it's because um, Rhyhorn was your common in the Safari Zone. Same I... for Executor. So, like, if, if Executor is uncommon, then Ry Rhydon should be uncommon. Okay, okay. What are you trying to show me here? I just, I love the art in the Sea King and this Tauros. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, I love, like, all of these, I just look at them and it brings back, you know... Oh, yeah, that card. Yeah, yeah, like that bell sprout. Like, I'm just staring into the mist of, like, rainbows and uh, dandelions. <laughs> That's what like, I look like right whoa, now. <laughs> 1996. This Taurus I actually <laughs> saw printed in a very recent card. card. Yeah, I know. Well, they, they were redoing a lot of that stuff. I so. was very confused. Oh, it was the set. You gotta feel bad for the, that uh, bone too. With the uh, pins that came out, whatever that set was. Oh, Legendary Collection or something like that? No, 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 gosh, what is it called? Um... We'll see it eventually. It was the one that came with my, yeah, my, my the pins. The 20th anniversary for, pins. Um, whatever, just keep going. I can't remember. But, um, I wanted to note, like, for the longest time, I thought that, um, the cracks, what I thought, cracks on Cubone's, um, skull, um, they're tears, and you can only, I could only really no. tell from the painting. If you want to pull it out, you can no, see it. Oh, I need to see this. I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought they were always cracks, and then I got a good look at its card, and... It's actually looking up into the moon and crying. You, you're uh, a little too close. Can't quite get the light there. But uh, it is. You can kind of see. see you it. see a little, like a little highlight right under his oh, eye. Oh, I see that. I see Yeah, it. it's about to run onto. Um, oh. It's sad. Cubone. It's very sad. Cubone. Um, but there I we have like it. the dopiest Eevee. Oh my gosh. It's like one of the worst EVs. Yeah, it's not a really good. Drawing. Okay, there are far worse though. There are far worse. We kind of skipped EVs over Weep and Bell. I really like the colors in the jungle. Oh yeah, the, like that's what that's I'm saying about one. the Sea King. It's like the, the same paintings, color yeah, palettes, the... and then Jigglypuff does it too. Also, um, like they really focused on um not getting super detailed. Like the backgrounds are just kind of like artistically abstract. Like, like in I Jigglypuff think he's got and Weep and Bell. Around. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, look at Mankeys up there, too. Like, they all look like that. Right. But new cards, like, they're all way too over-refined, and they're, they just don't look right, good. Right, you need to highlight the Pokemon in it. I don't know. It. I mean, like, they look good, but in comparison to some of these. Oddish's whole line is 3D sculpted. You know, that's, that's kind of neat, though. I mean, yeah. they, they made sure that they kept it, but Execute being cool down there. He killed that worm. He killed that worm. Oh, yeah, good. that Spearow killed that worm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we got a Japanese, um, Rhyhorn, which actually, if you pull them out, they look different. If you want to see the difference between a Japanese and, uh, the regular. Um, so number-wise, um, Kim can accept this because I think the Japanese cards don't have numbers or do Oh, they do. Um, but that's his dex number, isn't it? You're, you're really crooked. You're extremely crooked. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, you can see the Japanese ones, like the... They're um, not in dex number because these original sets are actually just going verbatim by number. Okay. The original gonna, sets. I was going to say, um, for one, the contrast is super high on the Japanese one for some reason. It even looks fake. The saturation is up. The icon for the jungle logo is about half the size it is in the English well, set. Well, they actually also printed... And of course the backs, but I'm certain... It's like a different... Like you can kind of see it yeah, in the light. Yeah, you can light. even like, feel it's a different, it's a different card stock. Card stock and, and a, or more printing. of a finish. It's probably more, a finish. Yeah, a finish is probably a better word for it. It's a different finish. Um, Jungle Pikachu over there is um. Fat Pikachu. Still fat Pikachu, <laughs> but he's looking a little bit more like his Tomy. Like th they were refining what Pikachu I like. looks I, like. I gotta say, but. Uh, I don't like. I like how weird the other one is, and he's purple. And... I, I never looked at how detailed this Venonette actually is. Like, yeah, this is a very detailed Venonette. Like he's got claws and like very long feet. Yeah, but him. Venonette does have claws and very long feet. I didn't know feet. that. You didn't know that. Are those dandelions behind him? Is he super short, guys? I I don't know, Kim. <laughs> I don't know. So many questions. Uh, there's a yeah. Nita ran up there. Oh, hey, go back. Uh, is my meowth here? No. Oh, I was. We'll see him eventually. I guess. It's in the legendary. Oh, no, wait, we got rid of it. It's damaged. It's totally sun damaged. No, no. 
Are you sure? Not yes, my gold I one. Finally I've looked got a, it up. I've got a gold one, one with gold borders. I finally looked it up. You better not have thrown it away. I didn't. Here, let's keep going. Okay. We gotta go. Well, I understand. No, we're looking at um. We're oh, that's right. Fossil. We are looking at fossil. Unless okay. like here, Pokeball. All right, now Pokeball. let's look at fossil. Fossil. Let's see, that's all we had to do. Hypno. We can finally evolve our drowsy. <laughs> we <laughs> and finally. Dragonite. I love this Dragonite card. And Gengar He's... finally showing up Guys, too. Guys, just look at how cute he is. Look how cute he is. Dargonite, cute. yeah, he, Dargonite's so great. <laughs> and he's got all this rainbow background. He was like one of the coolest foils when he came like, out. What? I was so excited when I got him. So excited. Hey, who's the strongest Pokemon? Me, the strongest Pokemon. And I? Is me? Is no, me. is Mewtwo. <laughs> is Mewtwo. <laughs> is Mewtwo. <laughs> is Mewtwo. <laughs> Not really. Card wise, no. Mewtwo is horrible. Oh, we can finally make Gengar, guys. We finally have a Gengar. That's what I just said. Oh, okay. I wasn't listening, um, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, but anyway, we should probably go in order. Like, we, we're just really excited about Fossil, because Fossil's awesome. Fossil's so cool. Um, Aerodactyl, yeah. looking head on at you. That okay. shouldn't happen. I really like Aerodactyl, <laughs> though, so Aerodactyl's cool. I mean, it was a cool card, but it was also in a um, deck. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Man, I never had that one. I wish I had it, because Aerodactyl was one I was trying to get my hands on. I've got, like, three of them. Um, Articuno. Another really cool one. Finally, we meet our second bird. No, we have not even seen Moltres yet. He's in the set. But Zapdos has two printings. That's true. <laughs> um, that is a foil ditto, and they were probably waiting on ditto to figure out, like, how are we going to solve this? Kind of like Pokemon Go, they took their time releasing him because they were like, what do we do? Right. <laughs> this guy's so this weird. This was actually, I hadn't had this set completed for the longest time because I needed this card. You know, it's funny, it's that one, card. because I remember um, when... Me and my brother were really young. I uh, saved up some uh, quarters, because I don't have a lot of money when I was, you know, six. And um, I knew my brother really liked Kabutops, so I went and I found him a foil Aww. Kabutops card, and I bought it for him. Aww. Now he doesn't even know what a Kabutops is. No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he lost it, so there's that. Oh, sweet story, guys. Sweet story. Like. And then I ate it. No, I was just trying to write the story somehow really quick because the timing. But, uh, yeah, you, know, you totally skipped over poor Hitmonlee down there, who was much better than Hitmonchan. Hitmonlee. Actually, not really. I think the Hitmonchan was more efficient with its energy, but whatever. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. Hypno. Yeah, here we go. I love this Lapras. That is a cool Lapras. Oh, can we get a detail on Lapras? There's a little. teeth? There's a certain, yeah, the teeth. That is Ken Sugimori's original art, and Lapras has teeth. You gotta come closer to me. There you go. Um, I don't know why they ever got rid of that. There's actually a bunch of things you can find in these old cards about how their anatomy looks. Or just look at Ken Sugimori's original art, because that was the first time they made these. Like, Charmeleon used to have, like, a big spike on his back. Um, what else? Like, the, I remember Lapras's teeth was a big one that I missed. <laughs> but, yeah, there was all sorts of weird I, stuff I like that. I feel like we've been staring at them so long now, because actually that image that you saw at the beginning of the video that was behind us, mm -hmm. that uh, framed um, card set, those have been on our wall for, what, two or three, <laughs> four months? Yeah, a long, a long months. time. <laughs> um, this, I really liked this Magneton. That's Ken this, this was the one that I had. Yeah, it's a, it's all, it's a foil, I really too. liked the Moltres in here, too, and that's, a, that's your first edition Moltres. Oh, uh, yeah, this it? is mine. Um, I, I remember picking him up on purpose, because it was a first edition foil Moltres, so. Right. And then, look. Okay, this muck, I gotta Muck's, talk about Muck's first muck. edition foil, too. This muck was everywhere really everywhere he was also in a very common deck oh and i actually saw him at like a lot of the thrift stores that we have around here mm -hmm. in his deck box still and the first edition is just about this that was not the one that came in the box it was oh not so the first edition. it's like the first edition of shadowless mod champs like the only way to tell that it wasn't the one from the deck the deck was the first edition <laughs> yeah um, um so you gotta and then zap just gets printed again he skipped over raichu that's no. not the cutest Raichu out there. But he's dancing. <laughs> like he never danced before. <laughs> he's a I dancing queen. <laughs> um, so, yeah, after those foils are over. And I think Zapdos is a really... I, I like this Zapdos. Like, can we artwork. please go back to designing Zapdos like this? Right. This looks so much cooler than what he is now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Same for Moltres. Like, I, I need him to be beefier. I don't like how thin he is now. It just looks weird. Yeah, take off his fire hat. But Zapdos for sure looks much cooler. 
Um, so yeah, and then we're basically looking at non-foils of all the, the other thing. ones. But now you can see like the background a lot better, like on yeah, you actually is. can on all of these. Um, Dragonite, Dragon you can see how rainbowy that really is. It is so rainbowy, but the foil. Yeah, the foil. Oh, it's so it's so it's, pretty. It's what you want. It's just so pretty. Like the all hunter right. got Wait. lamer without. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it was a hunter. Can we point that out? That um, hunter the... is still a rare. No, I was gonna point out the rarity of um. In this set of Ghastly to Gengar, is rarer than Dragonite's line. Yes, it is. Because Dragonair never got a foil. <laughs> that's that's what's wrong about this. That's sad. <laughs> I know. Um, um, so anyway, uh, Zapdos was the last one we were looking at, so we're starting with Arbok. That's not the uh, weird misprint Arbok. We'll find it later. That's in Rocket. <laughs> Well, I'll show you when we get to it. Yeah, there's a... That rocket's got so many oh, things so wrong many, with it. Oh, uh, Rocket's fun. Um, <laughs> so, I remember really liking this cloister just because of the Actually, color contrast. I really didn't like it because of the color contrast. What's wrong with you? <laughs> like, that Arbok next to it's so lame. It says the ghastly so lame, but that cloister's I like, bam. I like the ghastly because I was used to only seeing the 3D ghastly at the I time. guess that's true. So, yeah. when I finally That's also saw an uncommon. That like that's drawn. a better... He that's is like, uncommon. Card-wise, he's actually better, too. Yes, he is an uncommon ghastly. This is, like, the worst call bad ever, though, I it's know. first edition. I mean, it's not that bad. How about that Golduck who's just like, hey, man, look at this. I, d I always thought this was paper. I thought Slash. he was like shredding through paper. <laughs> so it's a terrible water effect is what you're saying. <laughs> uh, how about Golem who's like rolling down, down the hill. Down like a he's, a uh, he's rolling down a volcano like, I'm not with the fire. It's not going to hurt me until I hit the lava and then he just starts he really melting. Is. Look how big his feet are too. Yeah. I always like that Golem card though. Yeah, it's very expensive, like, energy-wise. And he's got, like, oh, self-destruct 100. <laughs> he can survive this, too, from what I remember, can't he? <laughs> I don't know. I remember one of the old cards can survive self-destruct. <laughs> no, maybe it's not him. He does 100 to himself. He does 100 to himself. Okay, that was, like, just in case you did something weird. But I don't remember who it was, but someone could survive self-destruct in, <laughs> in the card game. Um, so, uh, yeah, Graveler actually has equal rarity to Golem. Yep. I guess it was just... They're uncommon. Uh, hold on, hold on. How come Haunter wasn't a second uncommon and Golem took the spot as a foil? Well, I guess then Golem would have to be a rare, too. I guess mm -hmm. I can kind of see where the mm -hmm. problems are adding up here, but... Now, that Kingler, like you were talking about that other card, like that Gloom, um, I remember getting real excited about that Kingler card because I think my parents and I we were in an airport going somewhere and they had one of those really stupid Japanese-looking... Uh, vending machines you know what i'm talking about with yeah. like cards in them that you can see and i was like oh, there's a kingler in there and i didn't you know of course i mean they never really bought packs for me and so the only ones i saw were uh like that and i was like kingler's so cool which is weird as i never thought i ever raised a kingler in that game but <laughs> he's so <still> cool <laughs> i'm sure i did i mean i played that game so many times i mean i, I was really excited that's when a cool magmar, magmar. Came out. i love this magmar His that background. arita art is it yeah it, i think it is His. Yeah, about time His we take a look at one of these. His background's just so detailed. I know. It's like, really dark, but it's really detailed. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice one. Like, the, the, the art in the fossil set's really just on point right yeah, there. Yeah, so far there's not one of these that... The Golbet's not... There's nothing... I don't dislike it. I don't get its anatomy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's there's very few that um I actually have um a problem with, and I know I, I never really had a problem with that. We're gonna see this Cedra again in another set. Assuming we yeah, can see him of. at all, he's kind of glared out. There we go. Um, still in uncommons. I love his background, Amistars. Really? Like I don't even know what it is. It's like um I don't know. I, I like the uh, I like the abstract texture paintings, yeah, that they did in the backgrounds. Like Cedra's is super lame because it's just so the same thing. Jenna Krul's trying to do. But this painting just looks nice in the background. I'd be like, get, get that Amistar off of there. I just wanna get hang, that Amistar wanna, off of there. I want to have a typical office nine to five job so I can hang that painting in it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a house. Actually, no, no, no. Keep the Amistar. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just to throw Jenny it off. looks like he's doing a Kamehameha um, here. Right actually, uh, first edition Slowbro, Amistar, and Sandslash here. Yep. Pretty cool. And yeah, Weezing. I really like that Tentacruel, too. Even though he's not electric type, but that's just cool. Oh, yeah, and Weezing. I didn't see he's also first edition over yeah. there. Still in you know, the The, the Weezing's background, I always thought was so, like, vile and gross. But that's what Weezing is. I know, but that's just nice. They did a good job. Probably one of the worst Ekans, though. 
You yeah, can't he's a agree spring. With that one. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of that like that really annoying Mario Galaxy upgrade where you turn into a spring and you like just can't stop. <laughs> That's like like what he's dealing with in life right now. So dude, dude, um, pretty basic. Yeah, but no, uh, basic you say, but I always got confused. Like, what's happening? Farting rocks? Exactly. Like, there's, <laughs> there's no there's no good explanation to what I'm looking at. I love this Grimer though. Yeah, it's a cute this Grimer. Grimer is so cute. Um, Horsey is... is adorable, too. I like this Yeah, horse. but what if he's really sick and he's vomiting? I don't think he's vomiting. I think he's trying to get away from something. Why okay. is he cross-eyed? What would it look like if he vomits? That, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Okay. Um, I love Kabuto. Did I just ruin that card <laughs> for Thanks. all the Horsey fans? Thanks. <laughs> like how Krabby's like, Arr, what's become of <laughs> I know, right? He's horizon. looking up. He's even got, like, sand on his claw. No. No, no, he doesn't. That's my, that's my thing. Kabucha's got another one of those cool backgrounds. I love this Ammonite. By touching it, you kind of brought him into the... Well, uh, it helps point him out more. Okay. I love um, that Ammonite. He's so cute. Look at him. He's like, yeah! I, I like the painting of Psyduck where they actually... Oh, he's so confused they didn't, about that fish. Yeah, but they didn't even outline it. They actually painted it. Yeah, he's just confused. It's nice. He's just confused. And that fish so with no ripples at all managed to jump out of the water. No, he has some ripples. Does he really? Very tiny ripples. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> um... Shelter. I really don't like that shelter. It's just so typical. That tentacle, tentacle was cool though. Uh, this always confused me a little. Can't believe bit I said that. Because I was like, why isn't the light red coming from his jewels? You know. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But I know what, they did that on purpose. <laughs> you know, this? like of all the cards later that they started doing where they looked like that, this was the only one where I can feel like they were like, you know what? It's slowpoke. I'm gonna make the most boring card. Ever. <laughs> I hate that slowpoke card. Oh, you so hate much. it? I hate it. It's okay. so simple. And it was back here amongst all these other really nicer looking cards, and here's the slowpoke. Zubat. Um, Pretty nice Zubat. Yeah, I like that Zubat. Mr. Got Fuji. Got some action going down. Uh, is that a rare? Mr. Fuji, yeah. How many of them do you have? No, he's uncommon. I was gonna say, there's no way. There weren't any more rare trainers after the first. Yeah, segment. after the uh, the pitchforks and the torches went down, they were like, you know, let's not induce that again. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this stuff coming up next time. We're just looking at the rest of these trainers right now because we're almost done. You don't need to really do that. <laughs> um, they're probably looking at that like, what? We already looked at they're that. They're like, what? There's empty spaces because we haven't even seen that yet. So far, it's been perfection. Here on out, we don't have all these. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's some other trainer cards, like the fossils. You actually, um, they still have an That's inspiration why. of this later. I have later. two more other complete sets that we're going to be showing. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. But anyway, um, of, uh, this actually, this idea of the fossil that has HP and you play as the trainer, um, they have slowly been trying to figure out other ways to do this throughout the franchise as a TCG. I don't know if you've been aware of it, but. Nope. Oh, Jesus, don't even, don't even know. Um. Gambler, you know, it's funny. They did this because there actually is a lot of gambling in the original Pokemon game. That is, like, the worst card you could and play. They, well, whatever. They had to completely take it out because, uh, it's just, yeah, not, so, not socially no acceptable gambling. anymore to just do that. But, uh, anyway, oh, you can also recycle your dead Pokemon. I, that was just... I, that card made me so sad when I looked yeah, at I it. Yeah, I know. It's like, what's happening... Jigglypuff's feet are really long. Oh, yeah, it's long in the drawing if you saw him back there. He's really? got, like, sausages for feet. Nowadays, Jigglypuff's feet are, like, the size of its arms, which are nothing. Yeah, that's the way I draw it. That's weird. You draw with big clown feet with, like, goofy shoes with, like, Sora feet? Yeah, I do, actually. Weird. Um, anyway, um, that is all the time we have for these. I'm glad we were able to do both of those sets in about the same amount of time, though it's already been another huge episode. Uh, but either way, that is all the time we have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Booyah! Hey, hey, wait, wait. Oh. Uh, Booyah! <laughs>